Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be reviewing the Sandberg California Grand Dark. Let's do this. This is the California Grand Dark from Sandberg Guitars. Coming in at around $1,800, this is actually on the cheaper end when it comes to German-made instruments, because that's right, this and all of the California series is made in Germany. This bass is also our first introduction to Sandberg on the channel. Uh, I've looked at them for quite some time online, but never really went around to purchasing one or buying one for the channel. Luckily, one of uh, you out there was nice enough to lend us this particular base. Let's go over the specs. Starting with the body, this is a European ash body finished in a really nice matte black that is paired to a Canadian hard maple neck and a Pau Ferro Fet board. This is a 35 inch scale four string base, just like the old PV Cirrus. Uh, however, they still make uh, this base today, whereas the Cirrus is kind of... We'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> so, very interesting. We have 35-inch scale on this 22-fret Pau Ferro fingerboard, and a 39.5mm nut width, or a width at the 0-fret. Because that's right, this base has a 0-fret as well. For hardware, it appears to be all in-house Sandberg stuff, both the bridge and tuners. The tuners appear to be lightweight, uh, though they have a larger footprint than that of something like a hip shot. But overall, I have no balance issues with this instrument whatsoever, even with the longer 35-inch scale neck. The bridge is Sandberg's bridge, and this is one thing I have to fault them for, is that the bridge is somewhat complicated. I understand there's like four different little Allen screws per saddle. I didn't really mess with this too much other than adjusting the action slightly after restringing this with a fresh set of uh, Stay In Tune strings. These are the Stay In Tune Foundation 45 to 105 nickel plated stainless steel strings. Very nice strings and they are our new string of choice moving forward. So uh, yeah, um, other than that, I didn't really want to mess with the bridge too much because it's rather complicated. Uh, there's like four or five different little adjustments per saddle, so I'm good. <laughs> For electronics, we have two Sandberg pickups. Uh, they appear to be a like Delano style pickup. Very nice sounding, very nice sounding pickups paired to a dark glass preamp. This is a fully fledged dark glass preamp, uh, unlike the Spectre, which has the, I believe, the low mid control in the cavity with a little turny knob. Uh, this has a stacked pot here, so you have the high mid with its own control and then the low mid and bass control on the stacked pot. You also have a master volume and a blend control, and the master volume is a push pull to bypass the dark glass. On top of that, we have a little switch here to engage the pickup split, the coil split. So uh, we will have a single coil mode, which is a true single coil, in fact, for the uh, neck bank of magnets on the bridge pickup here. So the upper ones from this perspective. The neck pickup is hum canceling on its own, so you will have a little bit of single coil hum if you engage single coil mode on the bridge pickup. Now let's go ahead and turn this base around real quick. Around back, we see pretty much nothing. There's a small battery compartment, and yes, this is a battery door for easy battery swaps. Very nice. And a very sturdy six bolt neck attachment here. Very sturdy neck attachment, and the neck really feels solid. We also just see the grain for the ash body, and then the maple neck back here. The neck finish, I believe, is a polyurethane. It feels very, very nice and very premium. I don't find it sticky at all and I'm going up and down the neck and I just find the, the neck experience to be overall extremely comfortable. And at the headstock we see those interesting Sandberg tuners as well. I haven't seen these on any other bases, so it's pretty cool. In regards to weight, prepare your shoulders because this base is 10.2 pounds. Definitely on the heavier side, though I wouldn't call it a complete boat anchor. That being said, a good strap is probably recommended for something at this weight. And I know you guys are wondering, what does this bass sound like? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal.
sounds and just plays so well. Very nice first impression, Sandberg. Very nice. The 35-inch scale is definitely a little weird for a four-string, but nothing too foreign or anything. Uh, overall, it plays very nicely. So what you've heard thus far is with everything centered. What I'm going to do now is solo the neck pickup, and we're going to go through all the different tones with the dark glass preamp. This is a hum-canceling, uh, single-coil-esque uh, pickup over here, jazz style pickup with four very large pole pieces. This is very similar to that of uh, like the Music Man uh, Caprice, the bridge pickup on that in terms of looks. Uh, it's also very similar to the Delano pickups. And I think that Delano might be making these for Sandberg. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Here is the neck pickup with the preamp at full center. <laughs> Definitely not a P bass sound. Very clear and very aggressive. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you're probably no stranger to the Dark Glass Tone Capsule. We featured it in several builds, and we definitely are going to be featuring it in some upcoming builds as well. The tone capsules in this, and I definitely have some favorite settings. The first of which is scooping the low mids and bringing up the high mids and the bass control to about a 50% boost. Here's what that sounds like with the neck pickup soloed. Listen to that. That's some um, clank city. I love this. Oh, listen to that slapped. You know what? Screw the waiting for a slap at the end. We're going to do a little bit right now with this particular setting. Grab my pick too. Here's what this sounds like with a little bit of pick action. Still working on the pick stuff. And let's uh, do the opposite now. So I'm going to bring the bass control back down to center, bring the treble control, or the high mid, back down to center, and we're going to bring the low mids up to about a 50% boost. <laughs> Next, 
let's go over to the bridge pickup. I'm gonna center the preamp and we're gonna leave the bridge pickup in a humbucker mode right now. I believe it's in... I think it's in series, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's series and then single coil. We're gonna check out series first and then we'll play with the single coil mode. First, here's just the bridge pickup in humbucker mode with everything centered on the preamp. Harmonics just ring so clearly on this bass. Now let's do that same mid scoop like we did with the neck pickup. I'm going to scoop the low mids, boost the high mids, and the bass to 50%. And that's with the bridge pickup in humbucker mode. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Personally, I liked the mid scoop more on the neck pickup. Here's what it sounds like on the bridge pickup, slapped regardless. <laughs> Next, I will bring the low mids back up from a full cut to a 50% boost and bring the bass down to center and the high mids down. And now let's activate single coil mode for the bridge pickup. And that is the neck side of the bridge pickup. Here's what that sounds like with the preamp centered. Here's what this sounds like with a high mid boost and a bass boost, but a low mid cut. Next, I'll bring the low mids to a 50% boost and bring the bass and the high mids down to center. Now I will re-engage humbucker mode and we are going to bring the blend control to center, engaging both pickups. Here's what that sounds like with the preamp centered. Make sure that's centered, that's centered. And let's scoop the low mids now, bring those down to a full cut, and boost the bass and the high mids to around 50%. <laughs> Thank you. 
let's do the opposite. So bring the high mids down to center, the bass down to center, and we're gonna boost the low mids to 50%. <laughs> Let's center the preamp one more time and I will show you what single coil mode on the bridge pickup sounds like when both pickups are engaged. So you definitely still get some noise. Here's what that sounds like with the preamp centered. Again, both pickups engaged and the bridge pickup is in single coil mode. <laughs> I'm not gonna play with the EQ with that. I think it sounds really nice though and a nice variance from the humbucker mode with both pickups engaged. Here's a, a little comparison. So humbucker mode. Very similar, just a little bit more crispy high end. However, is it worth the sacrifice of the additional potential noise? That's up to you and you have the control. Now let's go ahead and slap this bass with both pickups engaged and the preamp centered. <laughs> This sounds really nice slapped, really, really nice. I'm digging the tones that I'm getting out of this. And before we throw drums behind this bass, let's go ahead and explore the preamp bypass. So the volume knob is a push-pull, which bypasses the preamp, and you just have the volume and the blend control, no passive tone. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Honestly, at center, there's not too much coloring coming in from the dark lash, though there is a sprinkle. Finally, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. <laughs> So here are my final thoughts on the Sandberg California Grand Dark. This is a really nice bass. This is again the first Sandberg that we've ever had on the channel. The construction is top notch. And for the price of an American Fender, I definitely think you're getting a much higher quality instrument when it comes to the overall build. 
So again, build quality is top notch. The electronics and hardware are also top notch. Though I do find the bridge a bit on the confusing side, especially compared to a more traditional bridge. In regards to adjustment though, this is definitely the German way in terms of precision, allowing you to tune something exactly to your specifications. However, again, it is a bit on the complicated side. My other two gripes are again on the small side and a personal preference. I do wish they had a passive tone control that was at least accessible when you were bypassing the preamp to give you some flexibility if you, let's say, had to run with a dead battery. One other thing that again is small potatoes is I wish that there was some sort of ghost coil or dummy coil in the Music Man pickup for the uh, coil split, allowing you to run silently in single coil mode. However, they did not do that here. This is just a regular dual coil pickup. Small nitpicks, but for an $1,800 instrument, it's okay to nitpick a little bit. Overall though, I have to say top-notch build quality, top-notch components, great playing experience overall, and this is an absolutely excellent bass. So what am I going to rate the Sandberg California Grand Dark? Ugh. I'm going to rate this bass four claws out of five. This is an absolutely great bass for the money. In my opinion, this is a much better value than an American Fender, both in terms of build quality as well as flexibility with the electronics. The Grand is offered in many different flavors with many different pickup configurations, and they all look pretty tasty to me, honestly. Now, one other thing about Sandberg I wanted to mention was they have a more budget line, which is the Sandberg Electra series. I believe those are made in uh, maybe Indonesia? I don't remember off the top of my head exactly where they're made, but they're priced more around the seven to $900 range, or give or take. So I'm hoping to look at those sometime early on in 2022, as well as perhaps more German ones. The level of precision when it comes to the design and the execution of this particular instrument is extremely visible. You can see from the bridge to the tuners, to the cutouts and the pick guards, to how everything lines up with the control plate, everything is top-notch and perfect. And that's something that's not always there on USA Fenders. So again, in terms of build quality and fit and finish, these bases are absolutely stellar. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Sandberg California Grand Dark. And as always, until we groove again.